Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey Ember! Welcome to my shit show. So, I mean, oh my god. So much to say and say, yet so much that I don't even want to waste my fucking breath on with this one. She just posted this about 37 minutes ago. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and happy holidays or just happy time off, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, I know our girl definitely did not have a happy holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she just posted 37 minutes ago, the interview with my ex and weight loss update. It's the two biggest things that she knows people want to hear about now. It's about the interview with Casey and how her weight gain is going, more to say, because let's just look at her. Girl, you look so bad. Ugh. And fuck off to everyone that made me feel bad for fucking picking on her. Like, dude, she's a fucking predator. Oh my god. Anyways, let's just dive right in and see what excuses she has. She's probably not going to even mention the interview until the very end. Oh, good morning. Good. Hey, Amber, you fucking creep. Good evening, good afternoon, good midnight. So I'm actually getting ready for a... You know we're all watching this as soon as you fucking post it, girly party i'm trying to decide oh yeah you're going to a christmas party how fun Do, does your family know that they're partying with a fucking i don't want to say the word because i don't want to get flagged or anything on here but she knows what the fuck she is which type of cardigan and sorry i do have to be like a little bit more quieter i'm at my parents we have a mess but it's fine which oh, it finally looks like you actually moved in cardigan i'm good look at all those fucking candles still there for so dude like what is this all actual new content and the shit we were watching was old because like where was all this stuff you're going to tell me she just randomly unpacked all this like within the last few days please i have three options so let's test them out just set you guys right there okay so these are in no particular order so we have the black one which is good dog how are people actually thumbing this up in safe it's giving Exactly what you'd expect, Amberlynn. Girl, you should be wearing safe outfits. Like, what the fuck? No one wants to see all that. Where? Here. Are you trying to sh What, do you have cousins that are under the age of 18, so you're trying to show off for them? Is that it? I have, like, an off-white cream. It's very Santa hat coated. It's giving Mrs. Claus. I'm like Mrs. Claus. And last but not least, oh. we have a half of the black and half of the off-white, giving Corella Deville, which is actually exactly what this is from. Um, this is from Torrid, the villain arc. So it literally is half and half. So- oh, Girl, oh my God, no one gives a fuck about this basic ass color combo. Which one do I choose? Okay. See, the fact that like, she can't even take it seriously enough to just devote one video to explaining the very serious allegations that are now against her. Um, Dude, this is just a fucking joke to her. She belongs in jail. I went with the black one. It just felt right in my soul. I don't give a fuck, dude. I do not give a fuck. That's the same thing you said when you picked out White Bee to be your next fucking caretaker. I'll take the black one. Heart necklace. Sorry, guys. Was that a racy comment? I don't mean racy like that. Oh, my God. Ugh. <sighs> I'm on a roll of problematic saying right now. I need to stop. Please don't cancel me, guys. Remember, she's the one that's the creep. <laughs> Which I wish was more closer to my neck. A lot of people think my well, neck- Why is so fucking stretched out? This are just like tight because I'm fat. No, it's because I like them tight. See Girl, it's also because you're fat. The extra? Yeah. I'm just... Yeah. You see how skinny I am? You see how much extra there is? I'm so skinny. It's because it's a necklace that's meant to be worn long, Amber, okay? So you're not some dainty little queen. Really a long necklace type of girly. Alright, let's see if I fixed it. Yeah, see? That's how I like And now you just have the huge chain dripping down your sweaty, fucking probably hairy back. We have these blinged out hoops today. I still can't find any of my rings. I literally think Rarity took my rings and just, you know, had the time. Well, what was that jump cut about, huh? Life with them. So they're probably like under the couch somewhere. What, did one of your pets eat those too? She's cute. 
living. I also touched up my nails. My hair is not the best it's ever looked. Um, Girl, when is it? When the fuck is it? Cue Zachary Michael. <laughs> Bestie, you look the same as you always do. Actually, Loki hate it. I don't know. Okay, well then chop it all off, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not feeling it, but I'm just... Shave it. Shave it all the fuck off, girl. Shave it all off. I don't give a shit. Like, shut up. Leave it. Get to the point. I already did it, so... Okay. If she doesn't get to this, like, the actual talking about her fucking, uh, about the interview, I'm literally going to flag it for fucking, uh, clickbait. Real quick, change of plans. I feel so much better in the half black, half off white. So. Oh my God. Yeah. You just feel so much better. Oh my God. That's so great. I'm glad you feel comfortable. Final choice, folks. So this is the one I chose. I just think it's so much cuter. It's it doesn't matter. It's still on a fucking pet. Are unique. And I'm just a quirky girly, so. Yeah, you're so quirky. That's why you talk to minors, dude. Fuck off. This party was super fun. I met actually quite a few subscribers. So if you're watching, hello, hello. It was so good meeting you guys. And then At a Christmas party? Dude, what? Shut the fuck up. Me and my mom went to Ulta and I got her a couple Christmas gifts and she was going to get me one, but unfortunately they didn't have what she was going to get me. So we might just order it online, but y'all, I've gotten so many compliments. Girl, she's got to thank you for buying her that car, I guess. On my freaking cardigan. So I think it was the right choice and I agree. It added a little flair to it. I'm well, girl, what else are they going to compliment you on, huh? Your hair is busted. Your makeup is busted. Your body is busted. What the fuck else? are people going to compliment you on but i didn't just stick with just the plain old black one and why don't you get out of the car once again like why are we just sitting in the car doing nothing you know what sit in the car do nothing keep being as fucking immobile as possible girl please whatever is going to crash this train faster I'm not going to even give her shit for, like, not doing good for herself anymore. You know what I mean? Not trying to better herself because I don't want her to better herself. She doesn't fucking deserve it. It's a car wash situation type deal. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome to, I was going to say welcome to a new vlog, but it's not a new vlog. It is literally the same one. Welcome to a new day. I hope that you guys are having a good day. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Oh, yeah, is it? The video must have dropped. Just thankful and grateful every single day that I wake up. Oh, shut up. Over my head. I have a wonderful job. I have my fur babies that I- Dude, shut the fuck up. This is definitely after the fucking Casey video went up. This is her damage control. Shut the fuck up, Amber. You are so full of shit. Oh, so dearly. They're literally my heart. I have great friends and people who are there for me. Yeah, I don't fucking believe it. If you did, you wouldn't be drinking all by yourself all fucking weekend in the damn apartment, girl. Get a life. Care about me? Like, I just have a list of things to be grateful for. And sometimes I feel like people just take things for granted. I'm gonna speak for myself. I know that I do that. I'm trying very hard to get better with that, honestly. But hello, hello. I'm actually... Yeah, you take people for granted, Amber. That's your biggest fucking issue. A few errands today. I feel like I've just been doing that a lot. My mom likes to take me on her little errand runs, and then I run some errands. Well, yeah, she is trying to help you get out of the fucking house and actually do better for yourself, but you couldn't give a shit. It's like a fun little time. Like, I really enjoy spending time with my mom. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few days since you saw me, so hello. I am not the greatest vlogger right now. I told my- Oh no shit. Get to the fucking point, dude. Address the allegations that you are a child groomer. Well, if you know what, December, I'm just gonna not worry so hard about vlogging. This is the first Christmas back with my family, which is crazy. Like yeah, do they know what you are? I haven't spent a Christmas- Is that why they kicked you out in the first place? my mom since i was 14 when she kicked you out be 33 in a few days so that's crazy she's probably really genuinely hoping that her daughter has changed for the better and i don't think she's going to find that truly crazy but today is actually christmas so merry christmas if you don't celebrate it yeah so this is after the video already dropped happy holidays or 
hello good day this is my 10th christmas on the youtubular which is another crazy situation type deal that's shut up get to the point decade so there is obviously um an elephant in the room <laughs> yeah you not a pun the interview that my ex did let's just see how she's gonna fucking try to manipulate and gaslight us this entire fucking time dude let's just see I did watch it. Uh, it was hard to watch. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you watched every fucking second, you obsessed psycho. For several different reasons. Everyone deserves the opportunity to voice their side of the story. Um, no. I think you've done enough of that, to be honest. But let's see what you got to blabber on about, girl. Deserves to feel silenced. Oh, shut up. A fucking hell does. Are you fucking kidding me? Having the opportunity to share... A abuser who fucking literally beats on children yeah dude you don't deserve to have your fucking side heard what what could you possibly say to fucking validate any of that behavior your side of the story and your perspective of a situation that happened sometimes honestly really good for the soul um i know from firsthand that sometimes talking about things feels like a really big weight is lifted off of your shoulders and your heart and sometimes it's healing for some people yeah well you're still 600 pounds so what's the matter so that relationship happened when we were both teenagers we were no no amber you were an adult shut the fuck up very, very, very young. And I think watching that interview made me realize more than ever how much I have grown up. I'm at fault for so many things I've done when I was younger. I've done. But the thing is, girl, you haven't changed. That's the fucking thing. Like, you still display all of these personality traits. Still. Destiny still talks about them. What would Becky say? What would Wipey say? Like, dude, you haven't fucking changed. And even now, like even down to small shit involving your animals, which you know your audience genuinely cares about, you still can't be mature and fucking handle that in a non-psychopathic way. Like you still have to do your bullshit games and shit, dude. No one fucking cares to hear your side anymore. Just a few years ago, I have made mistakes. I have learned along the way. But using like- Yeah, it doesn't seem it. What have you learned? Um, just not to show as much on the internet because you're not savvy enough to hide it. That's all you've learned. I was younger as an excuse. It doesn't justify. It doesn't make things okay. Like, no matter what side of the story that the audience wants to believe, regardless of anything else, it doesn't make anything that happened and that relationship okay. I know a lot of people are asking me about it and... Yeah, she's. I'm still stuck up on the fact that she's trying to frame it as... They were both kids and they were both immature. That wasn't the case. She was an adult. Casey was a child. I'm simply not going to talk about it. Like one thing you're not going to catch me doing is sitting here saying, well, he lied about this. He li Girl, please. I know that's exactly what you want to fucking do. And that's probably what you're going to do. You're going to go on live in a week or two. Once you realize that this apology isn't going to fucking do shit for anyone. And you're going to be like, well, he did this. He did this. It's how you fucking are, dude. About this, this is actually what happened. It's not going to happen here. I care more about moving on, letting go. I'm not going to say. No, it's because you would get fucking clapped back at. And there are probably receipts. And girl, you're just, you're a bad fucking liar. Has been easy for me by no means. I, I, have I mean, shit, it still is affecting Casey to this day like in his relationships and his work and everything like dude like why is no one fucking reaching out to amber's family telling her what a creepy fucking she is like dude some tears but there's power in knowing that him and i are adults now and you're an adult which you were when you started dating him he is now finally an adult get to choose which route we take. And this is the one that I'm choosing to take and I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, who fucking cares, dude? She she is happy she's choosing the right route in how to respond to her grooming a child and then abusing them, dude. What the fuck? Nothing but happiness and wellness. That's, that's what matters to me. Girl, who fucking cares, dude? Who fucking cares what you wish for someone that you abused?
Shut the fuck up. It happened in that relationship for two teenagers who were literally... Just because you were 18 does not mean you were a teenager. You were a legal adult and he was still far from being an illegal adult. And you still pressured him to send inappropriate photos and do inappropriate things with you, Amberlynn. That's still fucked up. Even with whatever state's Juliet laws they might have. Because there are some states where as long as it's no more than a two-year age gap, someone who is still technically a minor can date someone who is technically an adult. Like 17 to 19, that type of thing. That wasn't the case, girl. And that still doesn't stand for CP, which you pressured him for. And that is what he said in the interview. And it hit me like a train. I was like, that is so true. We were both put in an adult relationship way too young. There was a lot of toxicity from both ends. And I just hope that he's okay. I I want to be okay as well. And I Girl, no one gives a fuck if you're okay. Go to prison. That's when we'll believe if like you're okay or not. That's when we will feel okay about everything in your immediate life is if you're just in jail. I want to move on from the situation. It was 15 years ago. Like 15 years ago. Is that doesn't matter, girl. Statues of limitations don't last, uh, or they last a lot longer than that nowadays, okay, girl? There's no statues of limitation for CP, okay? Grow the fuck up. It's wild. But above anything else in the whole entire world, I just want healing to happen for both of us. I oh, go to jail. Go to fucking, ugh, fucking psych ward, dude. I don't know. Like, Oh my god. Oh my god. If it means my channel has to take a hit not having this one to like react to anymore, so be it. Like that's really important. But um Oh, don't start crying. You're not the fucking victim in this Amberlynn. That's the thing you need to get wrapped around your head. So it doesn't really matter what your side of the story is because you're not the victim. I'm going to say about the situation and I'm going to stand my ground on that. Yeah, well, you'll be doing this again in a few more weeks when the Crystal video comes out, and then when the Becky video comes out, and then when the Wipey video comes out, and the Destiny video. Dude, it's like, you're done for. You're fucking done for, dog. Because I just feel like continuously talking about a relationship that happened between- and I hope Becky comes forward. I hope Wipey even fucking comes forward, dude. I hope everyone in your life comes forward to say how vile and disgusting you are. I hope that if it ever did come to the day where your ass was held accountable in court, you would not have a single fucking character witness. Two teenagers 15 years ago isn't good for anybody, especially the two people involved. Oh, shut up. You are a fucking child abuser, dude. Fucking creep. Hey, guys. So it's And she's just going to move on like nothing ever fucking happened. Whole day has happened. I have spent <laughs> my whole Christmas with my family and it's been really good. And now you're seeing me in the same spot I've been in like this whole vlog. I've just had a really, really- Girl, it's because you probably haven't moved. Let's be so for real. Day today, but for some reason, like the last hour, I've just been feeling so restless and I just don't know where it's coming from. So I- Oh, maybe it's anxiety that the police are going to finally come for you. Getting up and like, maybe a FBI Frank sent her a message like we're on to you Amber we're on to you cleaning those messages was just a cooperative undercover move so I could gain access to your files but, and that helped a little so I might get up and just clean some more so I real quickly want to answer oh yeah oh yeah I bet you're doing so much cleaning I think a lot of people are like how are you doing with your weight loss? Are you like losing weight? Definitely not. Look at the fucking chins. What are you doing? Like, cause I haven't really been talking about it. And all girl and all that fucking drinking you're doing. Honest. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not going to be nice to her anymore. You know, I feel like in the past few months and whatnot, I've been a bit more lenient with her, trying to be a bit more level-headed and fair-minded. And look where that got us. I'm not going to be that anymore. Fuck this bitch. I have not been trying. I've just been eating like- Yeah, go fucking figure, dude. Go figure. Keep it up, girl. Keep up the good work. You know? 
We're getting closer and closer to that graveyard shift. Whatever I want. I have not even weighed myself since I last weighed myself on camera for you guys. But like, I very much want 2024 to just be like so, so much of a better year for me. Yeah, well, it's not going to happen unless you fucking do something about it. And you know what? Even if you did your very best, Amberlynn, I have a feeling that this new uh, series is going to be what does you in. It's either going to get YouTube to finally fucking man up and kick you off its platform or it's going to send you spiraling into a fucking mental hospital. Either or, I don't give a shit. And 2023 was, there was a lot of ups and a lot of downs in 2023. I feel like this whole 2023 was literally a lifetime within itself. And I'm sad to see it go, but it's like, I'm just ready to start like a new. And that goes for like, just a lot of different areas of my life. And that includes my weight loss. So I do have uh, some thoughts on my brain of like what I'm going to be doing personally, but like also what I am going to be like bringing to the channel because I know you guys really like my weight loss content. I will never consider myself a weight loss channel like ever again, like ever in the whole world. I literally just like consider myself a vlogger who wants to lose weight, a YouTuber who wants to lose weight. Like, I just... Yeah, who wants, but it's never going to fucking happen, dude. It's never going to fucking happen. I don't care. I want to be this, like, weight loss channel. It's never going to happen, obviously. But I do want to bring that more to my channel come 2024. So you guys me might be hit heavy with a lot of weight loss content. I'm... <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, girl. We're going to get hit heavy with a lot of calories, just like your gut which means like if that's happening that means like i'm on track and i'm doing good and i'm thinking about it and i'm focusing on myself and i'm focusing girl when the fuck aren't you focusing on yourself trying to be like better for myself which is a good thing it's very amberlynn coded for me to start january 1st it's very amberlynn coded for you to address child grooming allegations and then go into well guys for 2024 i'm gonna hope to lose weight like what the fuck but I'm pretty- Does no one else get like weirded out by the optics of this whole thing? That's exactly what's gonna be happening. I mean, no one is surprised there. Like it's not a big shock. No one, no one. Hello, it is the next day. I just came back in from walking Twinkie and I'm wearing- Girl, you're walking Twinkie in this large ass open ass shirt in the middle of fucking winter out in Oklahoma. Yeah, sure. Sure, I bet. Although, to be honest, you are probably still fucking sweating hot in that in, like, <laughs> winter weather. Fucking A. Hey, Barbie shirt. It has been a long time. So, I remember- Yeah, it looks like a completely different one again. <laughs> it's like, that whole rumor that, like, I bought, like, a smaller size Torrid when I originally got the shirt. And Girl, it wasn't a rumor. Like, the shirts were two completely different shirts, and they were both completely different colors, even, and you tried passing it off. I think it was like a year ago or something. I came on and I was like, you guys, look, it's so loose. On She's trying to insert so much clickbaity, like troll shit in here to get the comments to not address the fact that she's a fucking creep, dude. And people thought that I just bought a bigger size to put on. But I actually do have the original clip of when I bought this, which is a size six, which is the biggest size in Torrid. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the farthest from Barbie, so this is just kind of ironic. Yeah, obviously. It's just super cute. I don't know. I just love this shirt. So, I got this in a size... Girl. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Yeah, I just... I don't know. You I... still look like that. Confused for a minute. I was like, did I originally buy a smaller size? And then I accidentally got a bigger size. I don't know what happened. But no, literally, same shirt. Um, it's just, I have lost some weight. So... <laughs> Where? Your big toe? I'm a cleaning type of girly. I love cleaning. Yeah, that's what all of your exes in the past have said about you for sure. I usually use a Swiffer. And Swiffer doesn't even look like it's been used fucking once, dude. Because like, even if you use the pads, the bottom of the Swiffer is going to get like a little bit dirty here and there. Not a single fucking mark on that one. I know Swiffers aren't the best. I'm not going to lie to you. So I bought a... Easy ring spin. <laughs> yeah, dude, because you're definitely going to fucking mop. Oh, bucket system. Let's unbox it. So this is literally it. Oh my God. I feel like a janitor. 
so I guess th <laughs> that's probably the only job you'll be able to have, but not in a kid's school. That's for sure. You'll have to be at least 500 feet away from them. Part connects to this doodad. Maybe you can be uh, one of the working inmates at a women's prison and you can do janitorial services for them. And this doodad. Maybe you can go to the same prison as your mom did. Maybe she still has some connections in there for you. Connects to this part. I don't know. This reminds me of the lamp. Things that I normally would have my partner do. <laughs> 101. Yeah, go fucking figure. That's the true tea. So you just love to clean so much, but you would make your partner always do it. Yeah, okay. I'm an independent girly now. I can figure this stuff out on my own. Like yeah, it only took you to... You were fucking 33 years old, dude. How sad. Not rocket science, I don't think. We did it. And then we have the actual mop type deal. Ooh, that's so soft. What the heck? I don't want to get it dirty and gross. She's so fucking stupid, dude. Where's the little... <laughs> Hi, this is Juicy Couture. Um, this is from their new line. Oh my god, girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did I say Juicy Couture? <laughs> yeah, that's your fucking fanciest reference you got, babe. <laughs> that shows your taste level. Okay. This part's a little crazy. Girl, and you have to leave your fucking jacket and glasses on for this just to really drive home the idea that you actually left the fucking front step of your apartment. Sure. In a fucking tank top in the middle of winter. Yep. She left her apartment, guys. Totally went for a fucking 10 minute walk. Absolutely. This is going to hook. Oh my god, this is so easy. It's like they- Yeah, was it? Because you seem to nearly fucking pop a blood vessel thinking about it. That, like, used to seem so difficult for me. I'm just like, girl, just try it. Like, it's not that hard. Does this get- Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. She has the fucking, like, learned ignorance of a man, dude. Honestly, sorry to the male audience, but, like, men really are, like- incompetent like this you know what i mean and that's what she's fucking giving it's giving male privilege because <laughs> okay it does repeat steps one to three for full extension okay hold this oh my god she's so stupid <gasps> there we go oh okay fuck. so how do we lock it just like that wow I can build- Dude, she's so stupid. And mops. Okay, you guys, so I just finished editing the video and I realized I did not have an outro. So it's the outro. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm going to be 33. So that's kind of crazy. Who cares? Wild. Threes are actually a really special number in my family. So it's kind of cool that like- Yeah, the family that you just got reinvited back into. Like, shut up. Turning 33 while with my family. It's just, I don't know. It's just like... Yeah, maybe it'll be your year, Amber, huh? Maybe it'll finally be the year of your demise. Full circle. Like, the universe is like, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. Keep going. But anyways, I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Girl, fuck off. Let's refresh, see if some more comments came in. If Casey's story made me feel this heavy, I think Becky's perspective would make me ball for real. Never once did you acknowledge the trauma you left him with. It was all about you, how you've changed, how you were so young, how much you want to heal and let go, how you have shed tears. LOL, what the fuck? You even got PTSD from your sneakers once and wanted to take you seriously. Oh, and wanted us to take you seriously. The very least you can do is acknowledge his trauma without making it about you. That's all she can do, dude. Okay, I'm sorry, but let's just speak the facts here. Amber was not a kid. She was not a teenager. She was an adult. She threatened to break up with a minor if they did not send nudes. She was an adult who physically, mentally, emotionally, and verbally abused a minor. She was an adult. She was an adult when she ruined this person's reputation and destroyed their life. Don't let her play the victim or play stupid. Exactly. And to the people that are still commenting on my shit, I don't like Amber, but isn't it a bit much to call her blah, 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 blah? No, not when it's the facts, all right? 
You traumatized every person you've ever dated. What a privilege to be able to move on while you leave others hurting forever. For fucking real, dude. I'm surprised that she did not cry, but that is how narcissists operate. Once they realize there is no way for them to refute a claim, they will just try to excuse it by blaming age, circumstances, mental health, or something else. No apology, no remorse, just a facade to make it seem like she's being mature. I'm sorry, but you can't just say you want to move on, you are young, etc. You falsely accused him of essay, which still follows him to this day. You don't get to wiggle your way out of this one, Amber. No matter how long ago it was, trauma stays with a person for a very long time. It's easy for you to get over it and move on because you had no trauma or guilt whatsoever. It's because she was the one causing the trauma. That's why she has none to get over. You will never change. I hope that interview was enough for people to stay the hell away from you. I hope so too. It won't matter if you speak up about the interview or not, Amber. It doesn't change anything. And what's remained unchanged about you for as long as you've shared your life online is the core of who you really are. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm surprised she hasn't had a mass unsubbing yet. You leave everyone around you traumatized, even friends. You'll never change. How's your hernia doing? You seemed pretty concerned at the time. Has your mother taken you to get it repaired yet? Amber Lynn saying she's not going to talk about her past relationships while talking about said relationship. Justice for the victims, exactly. Who gives a shit what she has to say? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this one is a testier one, and from here on out, they're probably going to be a bit spicier. Just because I don't have much else to say about this fucking creep weirdo. Anyways, guys, like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below for sure. And yeah, once again, I hope you guys had a great holiday. You know, I hope you guys are still taking it easy, you know, recovering from the holidays now, right? Um, but New Year's is just around the corner. So yeah, hang in there, guys. But thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.